H1N1, urging people not to treat it like just another flu, though. H1N1 is on the rise in many regions, even spreading to the farthest corners of the earth. Uh, Venezuelan officials say it's reached the Yamani Indians in one of the world's most isolated tribes, deep in the Amazon. They say seven Indians have died. Here are the latest numbers on the H1N1 flu pandemic. Doctors with the World Health Organization report that more than 440,000 cases of the flu in almost 200 countries have been reported. As of October the 25th, there were more than 5,700 deaths worldwide. Russia, Jordan and Turkey are among the countries reporting their first flu deaths. Now, the virus can spread more easily when people are in close proximity. So huge public gatherings like the Hajj present a serious health challenge. Ben Wiedemann tells us how Egypt is preparing its pilgrims for the annual journey to Mecca. Roll up your sleeves, it's time for your shot, your swine flu shot. In a crowded health ministry clinic in Cairo, Egyptian authorities are providing the inoculation free of charge. Muna Amin heard the shot could have harmful side effects. I had my doubts, she says, but I want to go on the Hajj. 70,000 Egyptians are scheduled to go on the Hajj, the annual pilgrimage to Mecca, and the Saudi authorities are requiring that every one of them be inoculated for the swine flu. Later this month, more than one and a half million people from around the world are expected to converge on Mecca for the Hajj. For Ahmed Gayar, being vaccinated makes sense. Of course I'm concerned about swine flu, he says. We're going to a crowded place, so we must protect ourselves. Not everyone is so confident. A heated debate rages among those waiting their turn. Have you read about the side effects, Abir Alam asks a prospective pilgrim? Have you read about paralysis and cancer? I'm being forced to get this shot, declares Zahar Abu Khair, and if God wills that I should die as a result, so be it. Despite her fears, she will take the vaccination, because the Hajj is a duty for all pious Muslims at least once in a lifetime. This is a country where faith is strong, faith in government is not. I don't trust anybody. I don't trust anybody in the Ministry of Health. You have to look to all the hospitals in all the Republic of Egypt. Very dirty. N nothing is well. Dr. Abdul Hayez Syed from the health ministry defends the shot. He says it's safe. This is the second day we give these shots and no one has complained of side effects, he says. But many are worried. For them, this jab in the arm is a leap of faith. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Cairo. Some background on the Hajj then. More than two million Muslims from around the world make the journey to Mecca every year. It takes place two months uh, and ten days after the Ramadan ends. The pilgrimage is considered one of the five pillars of Islam. Islam requires all Muslims who are physically and financially able to make the pilgrimage at least once in their lives. So for Hajj pilgrims, and everyone else for that matter, what's the best way to protect against the H1N1 virus? Let's bring in infectious disease expert, Dr. Martin Blazer. He's with New York University School of Medicine. Thank you for joining us. Um, this vaccine and these shots that we keep hearing out about are so new, aren't they? How safe are they? Would you recommend them? I, I absolutely recommend them. Uh, vaccination for influenza has been going on for years. The methods that have been used are very much the standard methods. And people are worried about uh, theoretical risks that are of very, very low frequency. But the benefit of the vaccine is great because, as we know, all over the world, people are getting ill, people are getting hospitalized, people are dying. This is not theoretical. This is actual. The side effects? The side effects are extremely rare side effects. And in fact, many times, side effects are ascribed to the vaccine that aren't really due to that because background events happen all the time. Occasionally people do get paralyzed and occasionally people do get other problems. The risk of, of the uh, side effects is infinitesimal. Is the hard... They, and they, yep, the, the side effects have been exaggerated tremendously. Uh, that's why when you 
consider the calculation, the benefit of the vaccine far, far exceeds any potential risk. So I assume you, uh, you would obviously suggest people going to the Hajj did take the vaccine, but is this Hajj basically a health disaster waiting to happen because not everyone's going to have the vaccine? Well, the more people who are vaccinated, that, you know, when you take the vaccine, you protect yourself, you protect your family, you protect the, your community. So the more people who are vaccinated, the more it slows down the spread of this flu virus. I don't want you uh, to scare anyone, but you're an expert, so I just want your impartial scientific view. Um, how much of a health hazard is the Hajj this year? Well, any time you get a, a crowd of people together, you increase the risk of uh, communicable disease like this influenza. two million people in a very small area. Yeah, so uh, there, it, pre presumably there will be more cases of the flu as a result of that. But, you know, if people get vaccinated, they can minimize that risk. Okay, Dr. Martin Glazer from New York University. Thank you so much. I'll let you crack on with that phone call. Now, let's get you the latest on today's deadly shootings then.